And day six of witness testimony has closed in the Alec Murdoch double murder trial. Yeah, so much to get to today, but a lot of what happened in court today was the state and the defense arguing about whether or not Alec Murdoch's alleged financial crimes should and will be admitted into evidence. Now, those arguments were made without the jury present. So News 19 is not going to report on that evidence until it goes into the court record. Judge Clifton Newman will make a final decision on those financial crimes, whether or not they will be presented to the jury. The prosecution has argued that evidence shows Alex motive. But again, none of that in court today in front of the jury. Here's what was in front of the jury. Defense attorney Dick Harpulian trying again to focus on the fact that law enforcement zeroed in on Alec Murdoch as a suspect right away. Late this afternoon, 14th Circuit investigator Dylan Hightower took the stand. That's him. He talked about a meeting that law enforcement had one day after the murder of Paul and Maggie to hear what was initially found at the scene. Harpulian brought up up, Colleton County Colorado Sheriff's Sheriff release the next day saying that the community wasn't in danger. Here's that exchange. If you had an active shooter at large, would police take any proactive steps? Would they put up roadblocks or would they um, um, put out a statement? Look, we've got two people brutally murdered and we don't know who did it, so keep your doors locked. Be careful about if you see somebody uh, in the woods or, or walking along the road. I mean, you see these, unfortunately, much too often these days. But did the did you? Your Honor, object. It, did, Ms. Harpilly seems to be testifying. Did, did we get into a question? Yeah, the question is, did you all do any? Did you see any, any, not you, did you see any evidence of that or hear any evidence of that that morning? Not that I recall, no, sir. All right, meanwhile, under questioning from prosecutor John Conrad, Hightower said that his investigation showed his phone records the day of the murder, that there were 73 calls the day of the murder, according to Verizon, but on the actual phone, all but two of those phone calls had been deleted. As you know, Murdoch is accused of killing his wife Maggie and his son Paul in June of 2021. We have team coverage tonight in Collington County. We begin with Kaylin Hagwood, who joins us now live with the very latest. Kaylin. Well, Darcy, Andrea, it's been a long and short day of court today. Only a few uh, people actually testifying before jurors, as you mentioned earlier, much of the day. And even now, as jurors have left for the day, uh, continuing with those discussions on whether or not his alleged financial crimes are going to be able to be included in the days ahead. Now, uh, what we learned today was from the Snapchat representative, and it's been central to the case from prosecutors who say that that video puts Murdoch there at the crime, the same day around the same time that Paul Murdoch was found dead along with his mother. We also heard from a sled agent who searched the Moselle property where the killings took place that also testified. Now the defense taking note of what evidence she says she didn't find. Take a listen. See any evidence of any clothes that had been uh, involved in any sort of altercation that had left blood or tissue or brains. You see anything like that in any one of those rooms. No, sir, I didn't find anything like that. Well, we have been sharing with you guys about the uh, key kind of evidence as the or role that blood evidence has been playing in this case. As prosecutors say that it really suggests that Murdoch cleaned himself after this crime took place. Meanwhile, the defense says that it means that he's innocent. There was little uh, blood that at least you could see on his body, which means he wasn't involved. But the jury and the future uh, test the fires, the people that get up on the uh, stand will continue to let that evidence play out. And we will, of course, bring it to you. Court resuming tomorrow with jurors tomorrow at 1130. Guys? All right, Kaylin, thank you so much.